All right. Hi, welcome back. Happy Friday to you. Attorney Steve here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you got the weekend off. Get a little, watch a little World Series, watch some college football games. I know I'm going to be doing a little bit of that in between my work. So I want to talk to you in this video real quick. It's a new service that we're offering. It's called Zip Council. Let me show this to you here. Let's take a look at that. Zip Council. Now, Zip Council, you hear, you've heard of Legal Zoom and Zoom Legal and all those things. We have our own version. It's called Attorney Steve Zip Council, okay? This is my offering of services to help artists, creative photographers, um, entertainers, models, things like that. Get the contracts that you need reviewed and also have some recovery services, some IP enforcement services. So I want to talk in this video about photography licensing, okay? I had a question. One of my um, potential clients, I should say, asked me, what does it take to license your photos, okay? And this could apply to videos or lots of other things as well, fonts or, or you know, all kinds of things. But let's head to the Attorney Steve litigation whiteboard, or what we may now start calling the Zip Council Board. But um, in general, we have three different categories of types of licensing that you can do. Now, obviously, when you're a photographer or a videographer or whatever, you want to get top dollar for your products okay you want to get top dollar usually that's a form of negotiation you want to start high let, let them start low and figure out where you want to meet that kind of thing but the art of negotiation that's a whole nother video i'm probably going to do a video on negotiation tips and tricks and strategies so make sure you bookmark this video channel we're up over 15 almost 16,000 subscribers now thanks to people like you who want to know a little bit more than their friends know okay but let's get back to this okay so you want to license this to somebody um, company B over here, your company A, they want to license your photo. They say, wow, this is the best thing since sliced bread. I got to have this. Okay. And you say, well, what kind of rights do you want? And you say, what do you mean? What kind of rights? I want the whole enchilada. I want to buy the photo. And you say, well, if I sell you the photo, which would be what we call a buyout, if I sold you the photo, then I would have nothing left to sell. And, you know, that photo may have taken six days out in the out in the Ozarks to get that right photo and, and film and travel and all this. So you may not want to sell it for $1,000 or $2,000 or $5,000. You may say, I need, you know, $35,000 is probably the life, the, the life value of the photo. So this would be an example of a buyout. Now, this is where you, you talk. I have transfer up here. Basically, this is going to involve selling what you have. And a lot of companies will say, you know what? I want the whole photo. I want all the rights. I don't want to be worried about territories, buying something here, but you know, I got to renew it in two years. Oh, I can't use it on the internet. All these restrictions that you see on, on some of these stock photo sites. Oh, I don't want to just be stuck using it for editorial. We have a video on editorial licenses, but this is a transfer. You are assigning all your rights, title, your interest, everything will go over to the buyer B. We'll call the buyer B. So you're going to transfer, you're going to relinquish all your rights, your bundle of rights, okay? Remember the bundle of rights? The right to reproduce, the right to make derivative works, the right to publicly display, publicly to form. So um, all these rights, you're transferring the whole bundle. So you get left with nothing, so you better get that money, accept that money, okay? Um, and so you want to consider the future value of the particular work at issue, okay? Now, you may also give an unlimited use. You may say, well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sell it to you, but I will allow you to use it unlimitedly for one year, two years, three years, five years, maybe something like that. Um, what we call, this is not exclusive. This is not an exclusive right. This means the photographer or the videographer can sell it to other people as well. It means it's not exclusive to you. We'll talk about exclusive in a second. But this is an unlimited use for a particular amount of time. The contractual terms can limit things, okay? So when you're negotiating, if you have a big deal, you have a, a really nice piece of work at, at, at uh, hand, you want to make sure you're negotiating the best terms for yourself, okay? The best terms. And that may require having an IP attorney take a look at it. Okay, so that's unlimited use. And then a third type of contract that you may see is exclusivity. Now, this again is where you're maybe not paying as much as you are here, but 
you may be paying more than what you're paying here because you're asking the photographer, the videographer, or the designer for exclusive rights. You're saying, I, I sell in the United States. I don't want this photo anywhere else in the United States. And the photographer or artist says, hmm, okay, okay, well, let me think about that. Do you want it exclusive to you? Do you want total exclusivity? Or do, are you willing to pay a little bit less if you want to save some money? I can limit where I'm going to license the photo. I'll license it to your industry. For example, let's say company B is a software company. You say, well, I'll license this picture for the use of your software company. Nobody else in the software business will I license this photo to. So I might, li I might license to a real estate company or um, sporting goods company but I'm not gonna license it to a software company. That may be sufficient to get a lower price. You may say, that sounds pretty good. Um, you, you may limit it to geographical areas. This is another common clause to say, well, we're gonna let you use it in the state of California, but I can license it to anybody else outside of California because you're really just focused on California. So this is where it's important where you find out what the client really wants. What do they really want? And what are they really willing to pay for? Um, limited time periods, you may say, well, this is a two-year period. Um, if you want exclusivity longer than that, you might have to pay a little bit more. So these are things that, are, that can be negotiated. Again, on this, you're not getting any title as, you, as if you are here. So you're only basically licensing the photo, the licensing the video photo. So you have unlimited use. That's a license. This is a total transfer, a buyout of the copyright. And hopefully, your photographers and videographers, hopefully you're copywriting your material. Because if you do have your material copyrighted, a firm like ours can help you enforce your intellectual property over the internet. There's a lot of infringement on Facebook. There's infringement on Instagram. There's infringement on blog posts, com commercial blog posts. We can help with those types of cases, okay? Um, but that's a basic overview. If somebody is not following, let's go over here. If somebody is not following the terms of the contract, you could have they could have a big problem here. There could be a breach of the licensing agreement or copyright and or copyright infringement. Depends how you word your contract. It's very important that you use the right wording in your contract, okay? So I can't give away all my secrets, but you know, if you need some help with a licensing agreement, you know where to find us, okay? On the web at attorneysteve.com. Attorneysteve.com. Um, so that's about it. We can help you with DMCA takedowns. We, we can help you with contract breaches of contract. If you need help with licensing or even pricing, we have a nice new tool that we're using that is helping us price out um, the value and the different values and the different terms. So we can help you with that if you're new to the business or just want, some, just want a law firm to take it over and and handle your representation, okay? So I hope you found this video helpful. I gotta get running, I got lots to do before I cut out for the day and go watch the Astros take on the Nats. College uh, World Series, game three. So we're gonna see what happens. Tight game, two great teams. Thank you for watching, have a great weekend. If you need some help, you know where to find us on the web at attorneysteve.com or check out our new Zip Council. And a lot of people are liking it now. Even, even uh, I have a celebrity here that's even going to tell you a little bit about it. Let me be very clear. This is going to be a great website for you. Well, thank you, Bernie. Anyway, have a great week. I got to run. Take care.